Good afternoon. Welcome, I want to welcome everyone. I want to wish, first of all, I want to wish everyone a Happy New Year. Um, we have, uh, the windows are open because we have an old heating system in this building. It's a steamed heating system. It's a little difficult to control. But the pounding that you're hearing in, the, in your head right now, it's got nothing to do with our heating system. And we can't do anything about that. Um, we're here today to celebrate the swearing in of Judge Robert Hoffman, Council Members John Ferrari and Ed Kozier. First of all, I would like to ask Father Carlino to come up and give us a short invocation. Father. Thank you, Chuck. Let us pray. Good and gracious Lord, as we begin the new civic year, we are most grateful to you for bringing us here to City Hall to take note of and to celebrate a call to service and to realize with great humility that it is a call that ultimately comes from you. The citizens of Schenectady have clearly spoken. They have carefully made their choices. In doing so, they have brought to birth once again in the midst of your people the ancient Latin expression, vox populi, vox dei. The voice of the people is the voice of God. We know, dearest Lord, that every call needs a response to the call to civic community service that you have made. Three distinguished and noble citizens have responded. Robert Hoffman, Johnny Ferrari, and Edward Kozier. For their selfless and sacrificial response to your call, O Lord, we thank them and we thank you. So today in all days, O Most Holy One, please bless them, their families, their colleagues, collaborators, and co-workers. Bless to the citizens who have placed their deepest trust and confidence in them. Give these good men strength upon strength to do the sublime and awesome tests that you will set before them. They will need this strength, for while each of them certainly knows all too well the burden that lies before them, we pray too that they will also know, as we all likewise should know of ourselves, their human limitations and utter dependence on you or the origin and source of all that is good. Therefore, in the words of King David, author of the book of Psalms and the Hebrew Scriptures, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. We rejoice for these three gentlemen. We rejoice too for ourselves because we know that you have sent them to us. Thank you, Lord, for doing this. And as always, we once again give you the glory, the honor, and the power both now and forevermore. Amen. Now I'd like to ask Ed Perkins to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. recognize some elected officials <clears throat> that have joined us today. Our host, Mayor Gary McCarthy, City Council President Peggy King, Council Members Lisa Perrazzo and Marion Porterfield, Congressman Paul Tonko, Assemblyman Phil Steck, Judge Mark Powers, Judge Vito Caruso, Judge Guido Loyola, Judge Mark Blanchfield, newly elected Family Court Judge Jill Polk, and newly elected County Court Judge Matt Sipniewski. Town Supervisor of Niskayuna, Joe Landry. Former Mayor and County Legislator Karen Johnson. County Legislator Gary Hughes. Thank you all for being here. 
The three who will be sworn in today share a common calling to community service. While his sons were growing up, Judge Hoffman was involved in coaching and organizing various sports teams and leagues. He's been active in various professional organizations and several boards. Most recently, he served as county legislator and chair of the Capital District Land Trust. Ed Kozier has served us as a county legislator, a city council member. He works tirelessly for his neighborhood, the city, and in particular, the youth of the county. John Ferrari, who was called on the campaign trail the Holy Godson, Grandson, has been involved in neighborhood and church activities. And now through service on the council, he is looking to make a larger contribution to our community. In speaking about public service, Teddy Roosevelt said, the man who really counts in the world is the doer, not the mere critic. The man who actually does the work, even if roughly and imperfectly, not the man that only talks or writes about how it ought to be done. Using TR's criteria, Bob, Ed, and John are certainly among the people who count. And now I have the privilege of introducing for the first time in public, Judge Robert Hoffman, and to administer the oath, <laughs> Judge Mark Blanchfield. Solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support and uphold the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and uphold the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and uphold the Constitution of the State of New York. That I will support and uphold the Constitution of the State of New York. And the Charter and Laws of the City of Schenectady. And the Charter and Laws of the City of Schenectady. And that I will faithfully discharge. That I will faithfully discharge the duties as City Court Judge. The duties as City Court Judge. In and for the city of Schenectady. In and for the city of Schenectady. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. I'm glad I get to go first. But today is actually you know, an amazing day in my life. Um, I've had a few, but this is, this is right up there with, with uh, the most amazing days. I'm so fortunate and so blessed. Um, <clears throat> I have the best family, my siblings, some of who are here, my in-laws. If you're a Woods, let's hear it. Woods. That's, that's just my family right there. Uh, amazing in-laws. I've been fortunate to have them in my life for over 45 years. Uh, my wife, of course, Kathy, and my sons, uh, Justin, Greg, and Doug, and my daughters-in-law, who are amazing, and now I have amazing grandchildren. And it's just, I'm very, very fortunate. I have the best friends. Uh, my, some of my longtime friends are here. Uh, my new friends are here. And I'm sure there are some future new friends out there. And uh, I feel very fortunate that I do have the best of the best friends. Um, I've had the best career, you know, 37 years in law. <clears throat> My most recent partner, Larry Navasky, is here. Uh, you know, it's one of the unfortunate things. I did have to leave him in our partnership, but it was wonderful. Uh, I will miss my colleagues on the legislature and, uh, you know, other elected officials that I've been privileged to work with for the last three or four years. It's been uh, educational and, and a great ride. But now I get to uh, sit on the bench. And uh, so now I have you know, one of the best jobs as well. And I live in the best city, Schenectady. Yeah. Yeah. So here we go into 2015. I got the best family, the best friends, the best job, and the best city. And I even got the best hip that's on the market now. So, uh, so I'm, I'm honored, I'm humbled, I'm blessed, and all I can say is God bless you all and thank you.
Next, I'd like to call up Council Member John Ferrari and to administer the oath, Mayor Gary McCarthy. Support and uphold the Constitution of the State of New York. That I will support and uphold the Constitution of the State of New York. And the Charter and the Laws of the City of Schenectady. And the Charter and the Laws of the City of Schenectady. That I will faithfully discharge the duties as member of the Schenectady City Council. That I will faithfully discharge the duties as a member of the Schenectady City Council. In and for the City of Schenectady. In and for the City of Schenectady. To the best of my ability, so help me God. To the best of my ability. Congratulations. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for being here. Today is not just a day of celebration just for myself and two of my new good friends, Adam Bob, or as we were commonly called, the Holy Grandfather <laughs> and the Holy Son, but it's a day for all of us to celebrate, a day of celebration of a new beginning. We have so many beautiful things to look forward to in the upcoming next few years. And the reason you're here and the reason you're sitting in this room is because you are proud of it. Because you're proud of what we're doing, you're proud of where we're going, and I'm honored that you allowed me to be a part of it. Someone once said, be the change you wish to see in the world. And each one of you sitting here are the changes that are making Schenectady a better place to be. I'd like to wish you all a happy new year. I am honored. I'm ecstatic, actually. There's not enough words to <laughs> express all the emotions that I'm feeling, but I'm so honored to have my beautiful family here and both of my grandmothers who brought me up to be, hopefully, a fine and upstanding individual. So I love you all, and uh, I look forward to working with you, and thank you for placing your trust in me. Thank you. Now I'd like to call up Councilman Kosher and Judge Robert Hoffman. Solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support and uphold the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and uphold the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and uphold the Constitution of the State of New York. That I will uphold and support the Constitution of the State of New York. And the Charter and Laws of the City of Schenectady. And the Charter and Laws of the City of Schenectady. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties as a member of the City Council. And I will faithfully discharge the duties as a member of the Schenectady City Council. In and for the City of Schenectady. And in for the City of Schenectady. For the, to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. 
think I need a box of Kleenex. <laughs> Truly just a, a wonderful, wonderful way to start our new year. And again, uh, on behalf of myself and my, my wonderful family, my wife Barbara, and uh, my daughter Carrie, uh, and my two other daughters, uh, who uh, unfortunately cannot be with me today as part of the married life. Uh, my oldest daughter Elizabeth is with her husband down in Lynchburg, Virginia, celebrating the new year. And my middle daughter Heather is with her husband uh, in Cape Town, South Africa, enjoying the weather of 90 degree heat down there with his parents. Uh, so again, we extend the best uh, and thank you for the support uh, that we've received. And again, as the song goes, uh, we've said it all. Uh, we've had a great ride, a great journey together uh, with Mr. Hoffman uh, for many, many years back on the, on the county ledge. And of course, with our newly adopted uh, young councilman here, we're so very proud of you. Let's give him a nice round of applause for both of these new additions. And of course, the support of my colleagues uh, on the City Council. We couldn't uh, do it without you. And again, the continued support of Council President Peggy King, Lisa Perrazzo, and Marion Porterfield. Appreciate your support as well. And of course, to our fine mayor, mayor and uh, leader of the city here, uh, Gary McCarthy. Thank you as well. Again, I'm just very proud of being a part of this team. Uh, as we had met with uh, Governor Cuomo just a few weeks ago in the Proctor's Theater, uh, he had mentioned that how we keep talking about the city of Schenectady the way it used to be. Uh, we have to change that to where we are today and where we are looking for the future. And I'm so glad to be part of that team, really, to continue the, the, the economic uh, development, the growth that we've had here, uh, the vision for downtown, and of course, now into our cities and neighborhoods with the land banking program on the Eastern Avenue area and again our continued support uh, throughout the neighborhoods uh, in the city of Schenectady. And again to everybody, all of our folks who worked with us on the campaign tirelessly, uh, there's just so many of you out there, uh, if I start calling out names I'm going to forget somebody and then I know some will be very upset at me, but again we couldn't uh, do it without the support and of course without the support of the residents and the voters in the city of Schenectady who have been so loyal to myself uh, running and of course with John and Bob Hoffman. And uh, again, uh, with Godspeed, we continue uh, to work together as a team, and uh, we look forward to 2015. Thank you, and God bless. And if I may, I just uh, want to have the honor of uh, inviting uh, our fine mayor here, Gary McCarthy, to come up and say a few words as well. Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Ed. I want to thank everyone for coming out today. It's a proud day in the lives of uh, our new council members, our new judge, the new judges that are joining the bench at the county level. Uh, there's so many good things happening in Schenectady, really so many great things. And I look at you know, Father Carlino being here who helps uh, the city in so many ways, but even in uh, the midst of true tragedy, and we had uh, this year at St. Anthony's Church, uh, you know, terrible fire, but out of that event, you just see people come forward that do the right thing, that make us all proud, that really make this community a great place to live, to do business, and to, as Ed talks about, reshape the image as we move forward into the future where other people, other communities, are now looking at Schenectady as an example of what they should do in terms of municipal management, of economic development, and of just bringing middle class people back to urban areas. So I thank everyone for coming out today. We have a reception down in room 110 hosted by our uh, three newly elected officials. And so I uh, thank again everyone for being here and wish everyone a great 2015. <laughs>